You're on 100.7 Highlands FM, the voice of the Rangers, with me, Ms M, talking to Wynne Alexander, all the way from the US. She's telephoning us, which is terrific, and we're talking uh, US politics. Now, Wynne, uh, McCain was very critical of Obama throughout the campaign, saying that his rival was too busy measuring up the curtains for the White House. Do you think the fact that McCain radiated so much confidence that it actually helped him to win the election? Uh, you mean helped Obama? Yeah. He was so uh, confident that he, he could see it. Do you know what I mean? Whereas McCain, you know, yeah. u- using something like that actually worked against him. I'll tell you. Um, I think there, there were many layers of factors that went into this victory. And... I think when I get off the phone with you, I'm going to write an essay. Uh, One of the deeply held thoughts uh, that I have is that it took an egregious criminal administration to finally get some of the racists in my country to grow up and vote for a black man. Mm. I think one of the biggest unsung reasons that Obama won is because the Bushes are so horrible. And it took that kind of horrible, that level of disdain for the public that they're supposed to serve to get the racists in my country to get off their racism and vote for a black man. I think we have the Bushes to thank for that. All right, when we've uh, I've got one more question. We've got to wrap it up because we've got the news coming up uh, in about six minutes' time. Finally, when can you give us a brief summary of your new book, Get It From the Drums? Well, it's uh, it's a, a book about the civil rights movement, and it's got uh, seventeen uh, superstars who agreed to participate. Uh, we wove the music in with the history of the uh, 20th century civil rights movement here in the United States. The book, uh, written for adults, uh, written for you and I, but it is being used um, in Philadelphia. It's been about 60 high schools, I understand, from Dr. Dennis Creedon. And uh, as such, we got the musical superstars to uh, donate their lyrics rights and their sound recording rights so that the uh, students could have music in the classroom. And um, Buffy St. Marie, Pete Seeger, the Marvin Gaye Estate, the John Lennon Estate, the Nina Simone Estate, the James Brown Estate, Buffalo Springfield, uh, Curtis Mayfield, uh, allowing us to have songs, uh, What's Going On, Imagine, Mm -hmm. Universal Soldier, uh, Mississippi Goddamn, and, uh, you know, 13 or 14 other just huge, um, iconic songs uh, regarding civil rights in general and, and, and certainly in this country. And uh, that's what the book is about. Excellent. And I'm actually going to play Imagine uh, shortly. Before I do, we'll, um, and before we finish up, uh, if people want to know more about you, do you have a website? Yes. Uh, www.winalexander.com and win is spelled W-Y-N-N-E and uh, regular spelling on the Alexander. Excellent. And it's all one word too. Terrific. All right, we've run out of time. There's so much more we could talk about, I'm sure. And I'm sure um, we'll uh, get together again on air and um, have another informative and interesting uh, discussion as we have today. Wynne, thanks so much for giving your time today. And it's been an absolute pleasure to speak to you in regards to the recent election in the United States. Well, it's been a great pleasure on this end as well, Miss Sam, and uh, it's a great, great honor for me, too, to have some new friends in Australia. <laughs> Terrific. Great. You're on 100.7 Highlands FM, the voice of the Rangers. It's three minutes to five.